Hello guys. I'm waiting for get today we will have a talk with dancer and choreographer from USA. His name is Gary G. We call him G and yes, here you are. Okay. Let's talk. Sorry, I have some something in my eye. Hey, yo! What's up? I'm close to the screen. <laughs> What's up, you? What's up? Good morning. Uh, evening. Good morning to yeah, you. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, no, afternoon to you, actually. Good afternoon. Right? What time yeah. is it where you are? Yeah, I'm in Europe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. I miss China. I miss you in China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you been? I've been good. Been? How you been? Uh, I've been uh, difficult. Difficult for me, like especially because like I'm not in a good place, like no place I ever plan to see ya. <laughs> uh, like I, I, not in the place I would like want to be, like to choose, you know, like in this period of my life. Yeah. But yeah, but what we have, we have so yeah. I'm good. I'm just good, you know. Just, just okay. Can't tell you like, wow, I'm excited or something, you know, because I can do my thanks hundred percent, and I'm mm -hmm. very like, out of, out of my comfort zone here. Like, uh, no comfort zone. Like, don't have all my tools to do what I can do, you know. Right. <laughs> at all. I don't have tools at all, actually. <laughs> Because I don't live here and long, long time that I don't have nothing here, you know. I don't plan for here, so, yeah. So, so that's how I am. And But you, you moved already to States right before when everything started. So how have you been so far there? Yeah. Anyway, you've been home, uh, right? Yeah, some states are still um, under really, really strict COVID rules. Like, I just got back from Chicago. The rules are really, really strict up north. Um, but down really? south is a little more lenient. So it depends on what area of America you're in. Oh, really? Yes. But Chicago, I have a good friends because Chris is from Chicago. Mm -hmm. And the studio is at least open. For example, Chris now in California. And Californians don't, don't have classes at all, just outdoors. Yeah. But see, in Atlanta, where I am now, we have classes. Right now, we have dance classes. Oh. But of course, you got to have, like, the mask, and you got to make reservation, and make sure, you know, that you make get the appointment. So, yeah. Uh, and how, uh, how many people can attend the class? It depends on the size of, like, the studio. Because the studio can only have so many people in there, depending on, like, the six feet distance. So, mm -hmm. it depends on which studio you go to. Mm-hmm. So, so cool. like, if it's like a Millennium Studio, like hundred people can go in. Uh, now, I how think, many? Now, probably like maybe like thirty to forty, maybe. Ooh. Yeah. So it's risky. That's so you have to like book your classes ahead of time. If not, you won't have a spot. Wow. Yeah. But California is not open at all. Like. Yeah. Only outdoor. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to California um, next month to visit, to see. But I don't think it's when I talk to Eli and then it's still not open. Right. I know. I see yeah. all those like LA dancers. Mm -hmm. And I think Eli, he's in San Diego, right? Or California? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. San Diego, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, they, everything is outdoor, I think. Mm-hmm. It's good for them anyways, because they have good weather, so it's okay. Yeah. It's a little bit hot, hot, but not cold for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm I'm going to be in Sacramento next uh, next week. For how long? Oh, three months for sure. Oh, I see you then. Yeah, you'll come. Yeah, I'm coming to California <laughs> for October. But where, where, where in California? I'm going to do one to? week in um, Sacramento and then two weeks in L.A. Are you serious? Yes. You can't, you for real coming to Sacramento? Yeah, for real. I am. That's so cool. Yes, I, oh, I'm so excited. No, <laughs> let's, let's 
That's so dope. Which dates? Which dates are coming? The 19th through the 23rd in Sacramento, and then the 24th through November 5th in LA. Wow. So what what why are you what why are you coming for? What are you coming oh, for? Oh, just I'm a um I'm teaching in Sacramento and in LA I'm gonna take class. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Maybe I can go with you to LA though. To take some yeah. classes. Yeah. For real. Because I'll I'll be staying there. I'll be a little bit busy, but not like full time, full time. So that will be nice because now with the mm -hmm. new system, I don't know how it works. And Chris, he will for sure will not be able to travel with me. So at least I will have companion, like the friend to right. go with. Mm -hmm. Nice. Wow. Yes. So we can go have a good time. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yo, do you miss China, though? I miss certain parts of it. Yeah, I do. Right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It was all the crazy things, but still, you you miss it, right? Like mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy because I would have never thought this would have happened. So it's just like kind of weird, you know. I know, I know, I know. It's mm, I I love China, anyways. I mm -hmm. love China. Have you been keeping up with everybody in China? What's up? Have you been talking to everybody back in China? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking every day. I, I, I have a lot of things with China. Like, mm -hmm. my team is there, so I'm still, like, we having team rehearsals online. <clears throat> Plus, they have a classes, like, with my artist. They teach mm -hmm. my artist now because I'm not there. So mm -hmm. we always talk about, like, plans, how it's going, the personal plans for training. And then if I do some choreography for someone, they they the one who teach it to to mm -hmm. artists. So yeah, I still talk, yes, every day. And a lot of friends messaging me how I am, like when you're coming back and everything all the time, like talking something. And yeah, I, I was really like pleasantly like glad actually that um, uh, when the, everything got back to normal in China, a lot of people was like, asking me like where are you like i need you for classes and things like that but sadly i'm not there <laughs> mm. my career stopped now <laughs> super stopped on pause you know <laughs> so yeah i i do talk every day and you i talk to um like victor i keep up with certain people that i can a lot of people already are back as far as like um, my crowd of friends, a lot of people back here in America, but I know a lot of people are trying to get back as soon as the borders and stuff open, but I haven't heard any dates or anything about that when everything's going to open back up. Well, what do you think when it will be? Honestly, not to next year. I don't think it'll be open to next year. Yeah. For, for, no, I think next year for sure. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> I even don't know how it will go. Yeah, I think it's gonna be normal. completely different too. I don't think it's gonna be the same. Yeah, we hope so, Alana K. You see, the Alana K says yes, it's back to her. normal. I'm like, yes, we pray <laughs> for for China to back to like for China to open up. You know, like, oh, uh, yeah. So, tell us more about yourself, like about your dance. Like, well, how long you dance, your dance career and everything? Well, I've been dancing since I was four years old. So I've been dancing for almost, um, well, of course, over 20 years. So um, I've done a lot of different things. Right now, I'm back in America. I'm back teaching at my normal job at the Dollhouse Dance Factory back mm -hmm. in America. So I'm back teaching my kids, Aww. getting them back up to normal and stuff. But it's still strange because of COVID. So we can't even have like the full team in the studio at one time. And it's really, really hard because we have to do everything on separate days. So it's kind of get kind of hard to get ready for competitions because, you know, it's little no competition season and nothing right now due to COVID. So it's just really, really crazy. But yeah, um, I've been dancing professionally since I was 18. I've done a lot of different things. I've done Just Dance. I've done Victoria's Secret. I've done the VMAs. I've done, um, I traveled in China, of course, on tour with Chris Lee. I did Jane. So it's just been a really, really good, I've had a really, really good, as far as dancing, a really, really good career. 
it's just really, really strange now because with COVID, all the big shows that we used to doing is like canceled for the year because of, you know, it can't be no large gathering. So basically right now in America, everything yeah. is virtual. Yeah. Like all like award shows and different things like that, it's all virtual. So it's just really, really different right now. So I think everybody's just trying to get adjusted to the new way of life because yeah. we don't know how long COVID is going to be around. So what do you think? What is normal now? Like what do you would call normal now? Like normal flat. for me is mask, uh, limited space, uh, not that many people. I think this is going to be the norm for a while. I think we just all need to get used to this for a little while. I think it's going to be, I, but I, I like the progression of how everything is going, like trying to get back to normal and slowly opening and everything else. So, but I think, I think sooner or later it'll be back fine. I think mm -hmm. sooner it'll be good. You think so? It, you think after this finish, uh, like uh, everything open up, uh, do you think like everything will be super back to normal or still? I don't think we'll ever be back to normal, but I think we'll be have to adjust to the new normal. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. I think things will be still go back to being good, but I think everybody just be a lot more cautious as far as like personal health and safety and stuff like that. It just be way more cautious. Yeah. I think you 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 know that LA studios is closed. Yeah, mm -hmm. like uh movement lifestyle, Debbie Reynolds, like the most famous ones, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do you think? There's more closing up or would be ever that like those classes full of that those kind of people, like hundred people in one class or how how it will be? I'm just thinking myself and I can't like imagine or something. Honestly, I really don't know because it just depends on like some studio owners, a lot of people took a big hit due to COVID, like having to be closed like three or four months and not bringing no income and all stuff like that. So a lot of people are having to reinvent themselves on how they do classes or how they hold workshops, how they do different things because um, the government mandates and the rules that we have to go by are so strict it's really, really important that you make sure you follow them. So I think once everything is um, over, I think everybody will be happy to go back to normal and like, like run the dance industry the normal way it was ready to be, you know, ran. I think a lot of people are just waiting on it to go back to normal too because it's just safer to wait instead of, you know, getting a fine or something from the government. So I think a lot of people are honestly are just waiting for it to go back to normal. But do you think it will be, like, normal, like, before? I honestly don't know. In Atlanta, things have kind of, but it's still not the same because, of course, it can't be everybody in one class. So I think we all are just going to make the adjustments to see, like, what it's going to be and just wait and see. But I don't think it'll ever be like before. I got you. Because in China, it's back to normal. Like, a whole thing is back to normal. Mm -hmm. like like tv shows concerts live audience like uh, recently there is like this uh, dancer uh, uh dancer show like street dance of china and they uh, have live audience huge amount of people same amount of people as they should before previous seasons the same mm -hmm. amount of people like they didn't cut people or something you know and uh, i see like concerts, I see other TV shows like having a live audience. Like classes in Beijing is full cap capacity. Like big classes. Before there was only small classes, like uh, mm -hmm. small rooms. Uh, no, not small rooms. Like small classes. Yeah, like um, like ten people maybe maximum. But now full capacity. Mm -hmm. Like big classes is open too now. Like totally back to normal. Like. It's just my friend, for example, another friend, like uh, uh, famous in uh, social media, like people, they said that, for example, in their companies, people work more hours than before because company is still striving. But dance studios and of course, dance like bosses, dance studio bosses, they say like, yes, we work more, we earn less than before, but class is back to normal. Mm -hmm. yes. But they on the way to like get back.
yeah, that's what's happening. I think yeah. everybody's doing that, like trying to make the steps to get back to where it used to be. But right yes. now you can't really do a lot because like a lot of people yes. are still not working. So you can't like charge the normal fees. You can't do the normal stuff because of this. So I think a lot of people are just taking the steps to try to get back to mm -hmm. the normal way of running stuff. Yeah. But I think everybody's making good efforts. So I think it's a really, really good effort. Mm hmm yeah, I hope so in America it will be soon like that too, you know, because, yeah, me too. because actually in Hungary, for example, I like uh, Budapest studios, they have masks, but classes, big classes is open. Mm -hmm. You know, See, so. You, we still can't do huge classes yet. Mm hmm We can have classes, but they still can't be huge just yet. Because um, each studio has, like, a number. Like, when they come in and do the inspection, they give you the number of people that you can have in, just like at restaurants and everything else. So you have to follow that, too, really, really close. I understand. Yeah, this year, for sure. America, I, I don't think they're, they're going to back. Anyways, let's back to, to like, dance. And maybe uh, you can tell us, like, what styles of dance uh, do you like the most? Like, what, what what do you like to dance? Okay, I started off with hip hop, so of course, hip hop has is my first love. But I'm trained in ballet, jazz, modern, African, tap. So I'm trained in a lot of different styles. Did you tap? I, Actually, yeah, I, I just tap, did it bro. one time when I was a kid, but never yes. actually did it. Wow. Yeah, it's I only hate one tap. style. I did Yeah, but do. my favorite style is um, hip hop, African, and jazz. Oh, which one? Which one? Hip hop, African, African and jazz. And jazz hmm. yeah. That's nice combination, actually. Yeah. That's nice combination. So it's that's that's what I like to do. Cool. And you still like practice those three styles and dance in them, like mainly. Yes, I um actually just went to class last week for for training. So this week, um, classes, a lot of the big classes on Monday and Tuesday here. So I'm going to class tomorrow and on Tuesday. Nice. That's so cool. Does Sacramento have like dance studios and dance clubs? Yeah, Sacramento have a lot of dance studios actually. Oh they really? Mm -hmm. I think you need to tell me some. So when I go there I can just go and take classes and connect it with them. Because okay. I'll be living there for longer than just three months. Someone ask you where are you? Yeah, I just said <laughs> It's your friend, I'm home, yeah? I'm, yes, I'm home in America. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I'll um I'll get a list of studios and I send them to you. Uh, what was that? I have friends. I'm gonna get a list of studios and send them to you because I oh, have yeah, friends that for... there. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Because here is uh, I just uh, go to one studio in Budapest, but now mm -hmm. I don't go to Budapest. You know, so yeah. So, so what day you get here on? What day you come in next week? Uh, two weeks from here. Oh, in two from weeks. Here, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm ready. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. You know, like I I've been here like in small place for such a long time, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like so cool to like finally get back to my normal. <laughs> yes. Big city life, normal yeah, life. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. Huh? I said, tell me about that. Because my where I stay too, um, I have to drive to the to Atlanta to the big city. I don't live in the big city, so yeah, I have to drive uh -huh. like one hour. Uh huh. To get to where other stuff is. What do you mean? You don't live in big city? Mm mm. I have to drive to Atlanta. Oh. Mm hmm. How how long you need to drive? Like one hour. One hour? Oh, yeah. shit. It's not that close. to. Yeah. But me, to big city, like, city with the dancing, for example, good dancing, four hours, five hours, maybe five hours driving. Yeah, I'm really, like, wow. I'm stuck, you know? Because mm -hmm. city is far from that, you know? So even come here from the plane is, like, driving still five, six hours on car. Really? We don't have airport here, yes. Oh wow! <laughs> That's I didn't what know I'm that. telling you. So yeah, you need to get here so you can have a good break. Huh? 
you, when you come, you'll have a break. Oh, yeah. No, I, I came here, actually. I, I have, I'm having a break now, you know, mm -hmm. because I was so busy all the time for so many years. Yeah, like, you were. I was constantly working and living in Asian culture and oh, and having such a like, life, different life. And I'm just coming here, like small place. You know, if it's capital, like Budapest, it's, it's fine, you know. But like mm -hmm. small city like that, here's nothing. And small city mentality is like, oh shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Yeah? I said most definitely, I understand. Oh no. No, me personally, I don't like, I have my friend, she's from this city too. She lives in New York now. She's a pretty little magical town. <laughs> Not for me, thank you. <laughs> Not for me, thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all love, all the best, bye bye. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so uh, I wanna ask you. Um, ah, okay. We that we talked about uh, house dance in America. Mm -hmm. And but what about dance industry in America? Oh, it's like. It Everything is pretty slow right now because everything has to be virtual. And by them canceling all the shows, like some shows are just now able to like, okay, so we'll let you have like the TV performance and different stuff, but the regulations are different because you know, it can't be no audience. It can't be no crowd participation. So it's only so many people that can be allowed. It's like extremely strict. So it's really, really different right now. It's not the same as it was before. But like I said, the government only give us a certain amount of leeway, you know, mm -hmm. to do things. So everything is really strange. But I, I like the virtual idea. Sorry, just wait a second. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. My mom just came back. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I, I just interrupted you yeah so yeah you were saying that it's it's all virtual and yeah everything is virtual to wall <laughs> wall is saying... in this small city wall no, i'm really sorry about city. that yeah sorry for interrupting you okay i was responding to him huh i was responding to somebody on the live wall is in no wall doesn't I'm live. Sorry. Me and wall I'm live. yeah me and wall live I all went 40 minutes away from each other. We don't live in the same city. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, everything is like virtual right now. So it's just mm -hmm. different. And how how do you feel about that different? I mean, I, I kind of like the virtual idea. It's good to see how people can be creative. I enjoy seeing um, people uh, reinvent themselves. So it's amazing to see how the choreographers come up with the different shows and different styles and the different things on on how they can present themselves now because it's not the same. So I've been enjoying watching the virtual shows. It's been really, mm -hmm. really nice. I like it. I, I saw the last VMAs. It was amazing. Yeah, I like that a lot. That was good. Right? Oh, yeah, that, that was, was really so good. cool. I watched some performances like a couple of times. It was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. I, I like uh, people is pretty scared about this new thing what I can say about this virtual thing, you know, is pe people scare, but people always care about new things. So new things mm -hmm. is not always bad things, you know, and um, uh, I think world will change. It will be more vi virtual and everyone talks about this radio uh, frequencies that mm -hmm. is sending to us, will manipulate us more like in the future on all this 5G and all these things. And mm -hmm. plus COVID sending us home. So we need to, use internet to survive and you mm -hmm. know so so yeah people kind of scared that's they talk a lot of negative things about it but what i see me personally i like it very much you know mm -hmm. and um from chinese culture i i learned to isolate myself like to be like separated and stick with myself you know like i not like when I came to China, I I couldn't live without company, you know, like people around me and socializing mm -hmm. and going to party and something. 
but after living in China for a couple of years, I totally changed. So for me now, these virtual things and being isolated is actually, that's how I lived like in China like, <laughs> for a certain time, but still I was able to do a lot of great things there. So, mm -hmm. you know, kind of, it's like Chinese culture, for example. And I like about Chinese people that they don't care, you know, if you tell them to like, do this, they will do that. And, you know, and then they back to normal fast now and they live normal life faster just because they listen, mm -hmm. kind of like thing, that's all. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. like, yeah, I kind of positively looking at this, like future, new future and this virtual reality. <laughs> yeah, it's something new for me because I'm used to being around people. I like being around people. I like very social. You do, And yes. everything is, yeah. So um, being isolated was something really, really new for me, but it actually worked. I got more rest. I was able to concentrate on more things, get more things done, plan some more stuff, you know, without all the distraction and noise. So it, it definitely worked as a good thing for me as well. Cool. Cool. I'm happy to hear that. Nice. That's very nice. How is your brother, by the way? He's good. He's good? He's with mm -hmm. you in the same place? No, he's not here. He's in California. Oh, he's long time there? He's living there? or? Yeah, he lives there now. Oh, that's nice. What What is he doing? What is he doing? Being him, you know, a free spirit. Oh, you know, really? That's yeah, you know, cool. He's a free spirit. So, yeah, he's that's cool. Good. He's still searching for himself, right? Yeah, he's a kid, so you know he's still figuring stuff out. Cool. Yeah, he just needs to stay safe and healthy, mm -hmm. and everything is gonna be all right. That's right. <laughs> you you can say hi to him next time when you talk. By the way, I definitely will. <laughs> I you say hey. I definitely will. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see him as well. By the way. Yeah, he'll be he, out there, yeah. so you can see him. Yeah, I, I I like him really like like I think yeah. he's a cool guy like kind person you know, so yeah, I really that's... like him. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's your <laughs> brother. Annoying. So, have you how did you like work in China and dance industry in China? Well, you know I love China. Um, I came back and forth for China for the past. Um, I've been back and forth for the past six years since yeah. two thousand fourteen. Mm -hmm. So um, I definitely enjoy working in China. It's definitely different from working here in America. But, you know, some people can adjust and some people can't. But I definitely adjusted well. Um, I had an amazing experience. I met a lot of different people. I did a lot of jobs I never thought I'd do. Um, so I definitely miss the culture of being around the diversity, I say. I miss the diversity of all the, the, my different friends from everywhere. And now it's kind of like we all, like, spread out. And we're going to talk on Instagram. I'm so used to, like, getting on WeChat and be like, hey, yeah. let's do this. Let's go to lunch or this and yeah. that. Or we take each other to classes. So I definitely miss the culture of dance in China. And I definitely miss the industry. It was I definitely had an amazing experience. I never had, I didn't really have too many bad things that, that happened to me. I've always had a really, really good time in China. Really? Mm hmm Maybe That's like cool. one or two bad things, but the good, of course, outweighed the bad. You pointed very nice thing, my international friends, diversity. And yes. it makes me think first time ever how many pe people lived in China from all the way, all around the world in like a mm -hmm. couple of cities. And it's only the cities where you work. So only mm -hmm. people you met and they are from so different places. Right. Because... Everybody was from somewhere wow. different. Wow. Yes, that's true. I never thought about it. So, and you say it's definitely different from America. So how it's different from America? Just the the way you, like, um, the, the diversity, number one, we, you're not going to meet that many different people like that. So, like, I definitely miss being around and dancing with the different energies from everywhere. Like, especially, mm -hmm. like, being Joe from Brazil, or, like, oh. Lalo and Gizmo and Val from Mexico, or Dave and Leo from Spain, and just... Being around everywhere, everybody from everywhere, I just, I miss that type of energy around. Yes. That's honestly what I miss the most. I miss the energy. Yes. You, you're right. You're pointing this is is very cool thing. I never, never thought about it. So, but uh, for example, if you say about shows, how China work with the shows and everything, how America work with the shows, like industry? 
Well, like, China rehearsals are definitely way longer. <laughs> China rehearsals. Yeah, because we've been rehearsal okay. way longer. Um, <laughs> in America, time is money. So the more time you spend on stuff, the more stuff you end up having to pay for. But yeah, China rehearsals, the 12, 14, 18 hours. Yeah, I don't miss that at all. But <laughs> we always made it fun, though, because we'll all be together, you know, like on our tours and stuff. We'll crack yeah. jokes. We'll bring food. It's just, we made it fun, but being a rehearsal for 18 hours sucks. So I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. But that's the only thing I don't miss, the 18-hour rehearsals. <laughs> but you mean, like, China is more, like, unorganized, the end, this kind of I would say it's unorganized. I would say that they just have a different method of doing things. Like, we do things extremely differently. Like, it's more drawn out with them. They want to make sure, like, every single little small detail is ironed. I think that's all due to how you design people with the different tasks. But, yeah, that's all a different thing, for real, for real. Yeah. So, but just tell us more. How is it different? What is it different? Maybe they that's take pretty different. Much the difference. That's pretty much the difference. That's it. The work ethic and everything else is the same. It's just that we just work more efficiently because, like mm -hmm. I said, time is money. So we're going to get so things done a lot They quicker. pay hourly in America? for Yeah, it depends on which job you want. Like, it just depends. So, of course, the more people they have, they're trying to keep rehearsals down to a certain amount of time to not go over the budget. In China, it was like, well, we're just going to do it regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's definitely, we work way more efficiently than there, rehearsal-wise. And for example, for the show, if they like, for example, if one show have three songs, how how much time you need to learn three songs? Four hours. What? Yeah, and I'm and see that was my problem in China. I'm used to learning stuff extremely fast, like because we don't have that much time to get it. You know what I'm saying? But in China, we've been rehearsing. I'm like, after the first hour, I'm bored. I'm like, with formations. Yeah. Wow. It don't take for me. It don't take long for I don't believe in long rehearsals. It don't take all of that for me personally either. For like my personal stuff, I want to be rehearsing like two to three hours. I don't want to be rehearsing all day. That's a waste of time. Because in China they rehearse like three days, and you have, like, yeah. for example, one day rehearsal, another da, 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 three days rehearsal in total, like and all of them be too long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know that. It's easier like that. Just go and get it done and leave. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. I didn't know that. That's really like, wow. And uh, for example, I'm sorry, like, it, I don't know if it's like polite to all, all ask public or not. I don't know. But for example, rehearsals, if you like hourly, yeah, how many hours you spend on rehearsal? Yeah, they pay for that. But the, the, some, the performance at the stage already is separated. Yeah, so no, you, um, it depends, like, it dep it's just like China. They give you the same information, you'll know, like, if this is what the time period you're going to have, this is your pay, it's the exact same. So it just depends on the job you book and, you know, the agreement you make with your job. Mm -hmm. So it just depends. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and one more, uh, in America, you also, uh, all the time, have a manager, right? No, I don't. Oh, you can do like that too, yeah? Yeah, you can freelance, yeah. Uh-huh. So then it's, how they say, it's a Hollywood thing, yeah? So yeah. It, it's meaning California, like LA dancers. Most Look, of a lot of people have agents, but some people don't. It just depends. It's, it just whatever works best for you. Some people work best with an agent, some people don't. It just depends on like your own personal experience and your own personal what you like, basically. So now you don't have agency and you mm -hmm. still have a work. Yep. And is it common to have agency in your in your city? It, like I said, it's 50-50. It depends oh. on whatever works best for you. I personally don't like working with that. I like to work on my own. And how you know about auditions that, that they have I, auditions? Because you know, it's all about who you know. You have to meet people and learn, meet different people out of the So just like in China, like I know a lot of people in America, I know a lot of people too. Mm -hmm. And that's just message. Like we yeah. reach out, for example, mm -hmm. and that's how they like they just must exactly. they have a job, blah blah blah, and mm -hmm. but they have auditions for sure. Yeah, but if you it just you just go to audition. It's like it's the same. Sometimes you don't have to audition, and sometimes you don't. 
Oh, really? Yeah. So that's maybe you just send photos, yeah, and videos, and it's yeah, not. videos, and you know, it's no auditions right now. Everything is virtual, so everything is by sending mm -hmm. video and photo and stuff. Yeah. By the way, yeah, that's a good point too. I don't think now is mm -hmm. auditions, but I think because in my mind, I'm sorry, I don't have experience there, and I just go first time to LA for training in 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, to take classes first time in my life you know and i just saw everyone is so like stressed about like um jobs 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 auditions 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 and then i'm like i thought that it's everyone needs to have a manager everyone goes to audition everyone you know it's not like that like in la or you don't know la it can be that's what i'm saying it depends on the person you can't look like it. one person said it's the same for everybody. Some people work like that and some people don't. I don't like being under that type of level of stress, so I don't work like that. It's too much stress. So, yeah, I like to work differently from a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I understand. Wow, that mm -hmm. you, you're blowing my mind already third time. Really, <laughs> like, you tell me things. Like, I, I didn't, I, it was around me, but I didn't know about that. Really, mm -hmm. even, like, Chris, he has experience in LA and everything he all the time said like you need to have agency if you want to be in LA you need to have agency if you want to be in LA or something and I'm like how to work with agency if my manager is like not not good communicator or he forgets mm -hmm. or he's something how it can be de like, dependent on someone like you know but how you will know the auditions how you will know about jobs I'm like mm -hmm. is there no way like to know it he said no in LA it's all like that so that's why I'm like I'm putting in the place like no, it should be, and I'm telling no. But a lot of like, if you do to LA, a lot of people, a lot of new dancers do that. But I'm not a new dancer, so like it's just it depends on who you know. I, it's just like China. It and I don't who you like know. to be that. I think that's everywhere. It depends on who you know. Yeah. What do you mean? Do dancers? Do dancers? Yeah, it depends on who you How know. You dancers, call? directors, everything. It just depends uh -huh. on who you know. Yeah, because. I don't like that idea too. So now you like really like relieve me, you know, from like I I'm I was like no way like wow that's cool that's cool really. Mm -hmm. I, I'm happy to hear that information <laughs> <laughs> for for real. Um, so tell us, yeah, we compared China and America, yes, a little bit, uh, and yeah, tell us about your dance team. You have you have like dance company, yeah, or dance team. Yeah, like so this. it's different. Tell levels. us more about. Yeah, so yeah, so my kids in my studio they dance um, different styles. They dance hip hop. They dance majorette. Um, so right now um, we're just training in those two because we don't know how competition season is going to be. So right now um, they're getting adjusted to the virtual learning and everything else. So it's a little weird because it's new for them and it's new for me too. So we're doing like online classes and like. If you was already a member of the studio, you can come to classes. But if you're a new person, like somebody want to come join or something like that, you have to be virtual first due to the COVID rules and stuff. So we're getting adjusted to the new regulations. So it's just really, really weird. It's like our second week being open like this. So we just, right now, we just still getting adjusted to having to work differently and not being all together at one time. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm And, but I saw there's like mostly girls, yeah, in the team. Yeah. So yeah, the major red team is all girls. Hip hop team have boys. Wow, cool! Because I, they was like looking like like cheerleaders. Yeah, they do palm too. Yeah, so they do that too as well. That's it cool. On You're surrounded by so many women. Yeah, <laughs> they're fun. Is <laughs> you're having fun? That's good for you. I yeah, see you having good laughs in there. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure in China, not. I didn't see you with that much women in China, so. No, I dance with uh, everybody, so yeah. Oh. You know, they range from ages 5 to 17, so they still kids. So I'm training them on how to be dancers and how to be professional and how to do this and that. So, yeah, I have a good bunch of kids, though. Who? who? Hmm? What? what? What did you say? I said I their ages are 5 through 17, so they're children, uh -huh. they're kids. So I'm training mm -hmm. them on how to be professional and all that different stuff in different styles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. But does the, are they willing to, like, stay 
afterwards, like after 17, because I, I know. No, when they graduate and stuff, they graduate, they, they, graduate, they yeah. go to, they go off to college, they do whatever, they do different things. And right. So, yeah. They, they will not for sure stay, right? Because yeah, they so go and do other things, which problem. is they're supposed to do. Yeah, they're supposed to go and try and do other stuff. But mm -hmm. your city doesn't have college where they go? Yeah, we do. But it's in America, you can go to college anywhere. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't go to college in my city. I went to school two hours away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I understand that you don't, like, but I mean, like, um, maybe mostly they can stay, like, in the city so they can continue dancing your team. Oh, no. But they we, don't... Age, we age out after 18. After 18, you go to another team. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's like American style. Yes. Oh, wow. And uh, the the kids need to leave parents' house or something? Yeah, they go to school. Some people stay with their parents, some people don't. It, uh -huh. it is, yeah, some people choose. It depends. Wow, cool. That's cool. The, one more good information. <laughs> like, <laughs> interesting information. I didn't know. <laughs> And so, yeah, how how you actually, one of the last questions, how actually you, um, what, what do you think about social media and dance industry? Like, what's pros and cons, like, in general, what do you think about social um, media and dance industry? I think social media has ruined the dance community <laughs> in a way because um, it takes away from the people who actually got a lot of training and worked hard to be dancers. And that you can just go on social media and post like a TikTok video and be popular instead so of people who actually worked hard at the skill and who love the pe who have the passion for dance and you know really really want to do it. You know, it's kind of like offensive to us to like train. Like for me, when I was coming up dancing, we didn't have social media, so I trained my butt off in the studio and worked really really hard to get to where I was. And then now you can post one video and it even got to be that good and like you famous. You know what I'm saying? So. I enjoy social media for what it is to see the different dance teams, different people dance and everything else, but it just takes away from the value of dancers to me. Yeah, but but in social media, not only dan dancing. Like That's what everything, I think social media just, it made everything more prominent to where you can see more stuff. But mm -hmm. as far as anything else, that's it. It's just like, a, I go on there to look, not to do anything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got you. I got you. But does dance industry like cause of this? So cause of this, it's changed, first of all, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And um, how you how you see how you wh what do you feel? What do you think about those kids who are like super famous now and like choreographers now and everything? Like, what do you feel about them? I think. I mean, I think it's a good thing, but yeah, I mean, I still think the same. I think. Yeah, it just takes away from the value of everything for me. I think some people, uh, you can tell the passion level and everything else. Now, you can tell some people are just doing it just for views. So I like dancers that do it. That's because it's what they love to do and because of the passion and everything like that. So, yeah, it's just a difference. You can tell the difference to me. If you have a choice, for example, uh, to back to old ways like it was before. Always. <laughs> what? You would Always. Like, what you will go to old ways, yeah? Mm -hmm. You're so old school. <laughs> yeah, I am. I really, really am. My kids tell me that, but I really am. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got your point. I I understand you now. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so my my list of questions. Um. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, I ask you everything I wanted. So if you have something to say in the end, you want to say or maybe ask me, that's maybe you you, you can now. I, <laughs> I just want to say thank you for having me on. I, I miss you, friend. I really miss my friend. But Ooh. I can't wait to see you. I know. But now I'm happy because I know I see you in two weeks. Yeah, so, that's so good. Yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. So excited. So I'm definitely excited to see you in two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see you too in two weeks. Wow, crazy. That's all, yeah. So let's wrap, wrap it up. And you, what do you, what's your plan for Sunday today? Oh, I have to go teach in 15 minutes. 
Oh, shit. So I'm going to go to the studio. Bye bye. <laughs> Have a bye. good class. Love you. Mwah. Love you too. Bye. Mwah. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>